Welcome, 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 amen, to another, another Wednesday, amen, amen, amen. God is just such a good God, amen, and I just thank God that I'm able to be here to teach, I'm able to be here to share with you and to study to show myself approval Workmen need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Again, I'd like to say welcome to Camp Hope AME Church. We're located at 114 Camp Hope Church Road, Macon, Georgia, 31211. So get your Bibles out, amen. We're going to be uh, studying Numbers chapter 29. Numbers chapter 29. Amen. And I'm going to be coming from me and I'll be virgin as I read the scripture. But before we do that, while you get your Bibles, let me pray and ask the Holy Spirit to come. God, we just thank you and praise you for being all that you are. We are trying to obey your word. We are obeying your word by study to show ourselves approval. If we've done anything to stop the Holy Spirit from coming and teaching us, and to bring us in the truth, forgive us right now, cover us in the blood of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we ask that you would come and teach. Come and enlighten us. Come and allow us to be developed into what God would have us to be, that we might go out and make disciples. We might go out and do, and teach, and be that light in the midst of the darkness of this world. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank God. All right. Numbers chapter 29. Let us read. On the first day of the seventh month, hold a sack, a sacred assembly, and do no regular work. It is a day for you to sound the trumpets as an aroma pleasing to the Lord. Offer a burnt offering of one young bull, one ram, and seven male lambs, a year old, all without defect. With the bull offering, a grain offering of three tenths of an ephod of the fine flour mixed with oil, olive oil, with the ram, two tenths. And with each of the seven lamb, one ten, include one male goat as a sin offering to make atonement for you. These are in addition to the monthly and daily burnt offerings with their grain offerings and drink offerings as specified. They are food offerings presented to the Lord, a pleasing wrong. On the tenth day of the seventh month, hold a, 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 a sacred assembly. You must deny yourself and do no work. Present an aroma pleasing to the Lord of a burnt offering of one young bull, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old, all without blemish. With the bull offering a grain offering of three-tenths of an ephod of the fine flour, mixed with oil, with the ram, two-tenths, and with each of the seven lambs, one-tenth, included one male, include one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the sin offerings for the atonement and the regular burnt offerings with his grain offering and their drink offering. On the 15th day, on the seventh month, hold a sacred assembly and do no work regular work. Celebrate a festival of the Lord for seven days. Present as an aroma pleasing to the Lord a food offering considering consisting of a burnt offering of 13 young bulls, two rams, and 14 male lambs, a year old, all without defect. With each of the 13 bulls, offer, bulls offer a grain offering of three-tenths of an ephod, of the fine flour mixed with olive oil, with each of the two rams, two tenths, 
and with each of the 14 lambs, one ten. Include one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offerings with its grain offering and drink offering. On the second day, offer 12 young bulls, two rams and 14 male lambs a year old, all with, without defect. With the bulls, rams, and lambs, offer their grain offering and drink offering according to the number specified. Include one male goat as a sin offering in addition to the regular burnt offerings with his grain offering and their drink offering. On the third day, offer 11 bulls, two rams, and 14 male lambs, a year old, all without defect. With the bulls, rams, and lambs, offer their grain offering and drink offering according to the number specified. Include one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offerings with its grain offering and drink offering. On the fourth day, offer 10 bulls, two rams and 14 male lambs a year old, all without defect. With the bulls, rams, and lambs offer their grain offering and drink offering according to the number specified. Include one male goat as a sin offering in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and drink offering. On the fifth day, offer nine bulls, two rams, and 14 male lambs a year old, all without defect. With the bulls, rams, and lamb offerings, their grain offerings and drink offerings, according to the number specified. Include one male goat as a sin offering in addition to the regular burnt offerings in with its grain offering, with its grain and drink offering. On the, the seventh day, offer seven bulls, two rams, and 14 male lambs a year old, all without blemish, with the bull rams and lambs, offer their grain offering and drink offering according to the number specified. Include one male goat as an offering in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and drink offering. On the eighth day, hold a closing special assembly and do no regular work. Present as an aroma pleasing to the Lord, a food offering consisting of a burnt offering of one bull, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old, all without defects. With the bulls, the ram, and the lambs, offer their grain offering and drink offering according to the number specified. Include one male goat as a sin offering in addition to the regular burnt offerings with its grain offering and drink offering. In addition to what you vow and your free will offering, offer these to the Lord at your appointed festival, your burnt offerings, grain offerings, drink offerings, and fellowship offerings. Moses told the Israelites all the Lord commanded. I've read to you Numbers chapter 29, verses 1 through 40, the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be unto God. Let's get right into this. Amen. All these a lot of offerings. Amen. Praise God. Amen. More offerings, and it's related to seasonal feasts or a festival. Amen. And verses 1 through 6 was the offerings at the Feast of Trumpets, the Feast of Trumpets. The Feast of Trumpets was the third feast regard, uh, regards, regarded as a, a sacred gathering, a, a holy convocation, and a day to do no customary work. 
Uh, these made up the burnt, the, 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 the young bulls, one ram and the seven lambs. They made up the burnt offering to be sacrificed on the Feast of Trumpets together with the grain offering. <coughs> Excuse me, offering, offering measured to each sacrificial animal and a sin offering for to one kid of the goat. Uh, the special sacrifices made on the Feast of Trumpets did not replace the daily, weekly, or monthly offerings. They still had to be done. Verses 7 to 11 talks about the offering on the Day of Atonement. Uh, the sacrificial ceremony for the Day of Atonement are described, if you want to go back in Leviticus, amen, uh, chapter 16. The high priest was to sacrifice one lamb, two rams, and two goats. In addition, God had commanded the additional sacrifice of one young bull, one ram and seven lambs together with the appropriate grain offerings and offerings of one kid of the goat as a sin offering. All this was besides, again, the sin offering for the atonement and the normally daily burnt offerings with the grain offering and their drink offerings. The Day of Atonement was not a happy feast. It was a day to carefully to carefully consider the burden of sin and to put it away on a national basis through the appointed sacrifices for that day. The command to afflict your soul was to, to show the humility and the repentance appropriate for those who need forgiveness. It was also and identification with the sacrifice of sin. Afflicting the soul brought Israel into sympathy with the afflicted sacrificial victim. Right. Verses 12 through 39 talked about the offerings at the feast of the tabernacle, of the tabernacle, which consisted of eight days, eight days. Eight days. Both the first and the eighth day of the Feast of Tabernacles was days of sacred gathering for the people of Israel. God required so many animals and such expensive sacrifices because the Feast of the Tabernacle was a happy memorial of God's faith fullness to the Israel during the exodus. The sacrifice of so many animals was a demonstration of the richness of God's provision to them through the years in the wilderness. And in that last verse in 40 in the beginning where, you know, Moses told the people that Zerubbabel was now on the threshold of the promised land, they needed to be reminded of the essential place of sacrifice as part of the covenant with God um, made with Israel at Mount Sinai. It could not be ignored nor rejected. And that second part where it says, just as the Lord commanded, for Israel to obey what God commands, it meant that every year, every year, the priest sacrificed at least 1,086 lambs, 113 bulls, 32 rams, more than a ton of flour, and some 1,000 bottles of oil and wine on behalf of the nation. And this was all needed. This was all necessary because God never left them. God never forsake them. God brought them through. God kept his promise in order to bring them into the promises. If God said it, that sells it. If God said it, that sells it. We must obey God. We must 
celebrate God's blessings that God has given to us. We must be witnesses unto God. We must demonstrate God's blessings in our life. God doesn't bless us that we might hold on or we might not, might not, 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 not share it. We might not demonstrate our blessings, but not in a, a arrogant way, in, 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 a, in, in a, uh, a form of humility, because we all sin and fall short of the glory. We all are not worthy, but it's God's grace and God's mercy that brings us through, that blesses us, that takes care of us. So read back over Numbers 29, amen. See the various feasts and, that they uh, had to do and remember your life. Remember what God has done for you and hold it special in your heart that you might be a true light, a true witness, that we all might go out and, and, and make disciples and teach them what, what we've been taught, teaching them the revelation, teaching them the need for Jesus, teaching them that is one God and Father of all. Well, I thank you for coming and judging us here. Of course, our, mo our motto here at Camp Oak is come grow with us as we transform our thoughts, our words, and our deeds as we prepare for Christ's return. Know that I love you. I love you with the love of Christ. And I invite you to come back out with us again. Read back over 20 uh, nine, amen, and get ready for Numbers uh, chapter 20, amen. Read it, read it, read it, that we might come together again next Wednesday and study God's word. As I always say at the end of each of our session. Again, I love you. May God bless you. And I'll see you next time. Oh, before I go. Let us remember this, amen. The prayer line has been changed from Tuesday to Monday. Uh, check the websites for the new numbers, amen. Tune in Sunday, we'll be telling what the new numbers are that you could do on that particular Monday as well, amen. Remember also uh, on Sunday, amen, we're gonna come and we're gonna preach, amen, and do what God tells us to do and say what God's going to Tell us to say, join us, join us, and invite others. We can't do it without you. We thank you for your support, your giving, everything that you do. We thank you for allowing uh, God to bless you and bless us. Again, I love you, and I'll say it again. See you next time. God bless you.